Hi, I'm Brian Van from Sport Bike Track here, sportbiketrackgear.com. We're going to tie up our Revit Sand riding suit video by focusing just on the pants now. We have them attached to our sand jacket using the full circumference zip. And what I'd like to point out here is when you pull up the tail of the jacket, you're going to note we have a waterproof layer here that's part of the jacket that overlaps the pants. The idea is to kind of a watershed here to make sure that you don't end up with a wet seat the way these work together in conjunction with one another. I'd like to note here, nice motion panels sewn into the back of the pants. Also, where it attaches to the jacket, this is a spandex material. You can clearly see that stretch. The idea is to maintain a great level of comfort when you're moving around on and off the bike. Seat of the pants, high and near, maximum protection in case you do happen to have it get off. You can see down here, lower legs, the Velcro adjustment they use here is, is pretty wide, so you can kind of taper it at the bottom if you want to get it tight. I would imagine there's certain boots you could put this in if you chose to do so, other boots where you can have it on the outside for sure. Wide opening, okay, it's easy to get this on and get it over your boot. What I do want to say is if you're going to ride in a waterproof boot, you have to have the pants over the boots, acts as a watershed. Otherwise, if you have a waterproof boot and you try to put them on the outside of the pant, the range goes down inside the boot and it's like having your foot in a bucket full of water all day. Nothing good about that. You can clearly see here, the two liners are attached with zippers. I think Revit's allergic to Velcro, which is a nice thing because, man, this is just such a great quality way to put this together. We'll show you more about that in just a minute. Let's focus on the front side of the sand pants right now. Humongous cargo pockets in these things. Humongous. Right here, look at this. Easily get your lunch in there. We have scotch light panels right here. Both sides of the pant, cool red logo on that one. Hand warmer pockets built into the sand pants right here. Both sides. That's going to be kind of a, I'm going to call that one water resistant. Not waterproof, but water resistant. You look here. Let's zip these down. Vents on the front of the pants. Both sides. Open those up. When you have the windproof liner removed, it'll dry air in the pants or to keep you cool. We have grip panels here on the inside of both knees. They'll interact with your motorcycle, maintain a high level of grip, and not damage the painted surface. Nice articulated motion panel here. Above both knees, that's great to get on the bike and move around on the bike. Plenty of motion. Stay tuned. We're going to pull them apart and give you a look from the inside out. All right, here we go. The sand pant from the inside out. Remember, like I told you, this pant has two removable liners. You can also choose how these pants are going to be configured. You can use it with just the windproof, waterproof liner or just the insulated liner. You can take them both out. Your call. The way that Revit's put this stuff together, they do not dictate how you wear your pants, and I like that. Okay, opening, snap, spring-loaded, zipper. This is part of our windproof, waterproof, breathable liner. Operative word in that is breathable. If it's not breathable, it is garbage. First, we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove our insulated liner. Grab the zipper pull here, run all the way around the inside of the pen. Let's turn it over. Make access even easier. I'm going to open up the leg hole like so. Remember, down here, Revit, they do not use Velcro down here. They like zippers. And you know what? I like the zippers too because a pant like this, you're going to pull this thing apart and put it back together during its life cycle, which will hopefully be a long time. Hundreds of times, right? What do you think is going to hold up better, Velcro or zippers? I'm going to put my money on the YKK zippers. Undo the zip there. Out comes our full thermal liner. Once again, tremendous quality. All the seams are totally finished. Nothing here looks like an afterthought. They've done a great job. Okay, now we're left with the outer shell and our windproof, waterproof, breathable liner. To remove that one, go ahead and the same thing as we did with the insulated liner. Grab the zipper pull, run all the way around, like so. Turn the pan over. Down here at the bottom of the leg, grab the zipper, pull it all the way around. And out comes this liner. We're down to just the shell. There it is. Okay, now, 
Let's talk about a couple of features here. Back panel. Comfort fabric feels good against your skin. Interior liner. Nice and comfy feels good against the skin. You'll also note here, for ease of hanging, we have two straps sewn into the pant, like so, so you can hang these up nicely. Hip armor is removable. Simply undo the Velcro here on the pocket. This is just kind of a medium density foam, okay? But in that area, it's going to do a great job to manage energy if you happen to have a tip over. There you go, mirror image on both sides. There is also armor down here in the knees. We already have that removed. And basically what we're using down here is Pro-Life Armor. It's CE certified soft shell armor. It's good and comfortable. Let's go ahead and tie this up. What do we think? We think this is a great pair of pants, okay? Pretty darn close to the Cayenne Pro. If you're looking for more than this, jump on those. You'll be glad that you did. This is a great pair of pants. It goes great with the Sam jacket. I'm Brian Van from sportbytrackgear.com.